What's up, G.I. Joe collectors? How you guys doing? This is MIB Master coming back at you again with another installment of Let's Talk G.I. Joe. Today's review will be on the Search and Rescue Team Smoke Jumper. I believe I bought this set somewhere in 2002, 2003, and um, getting for a fairly great price. I was at Kmart and uh, doing some grocery shopping. Actually, I said, "You know what? I might as well turn this this into a a GI Joe run hunt and go to the toy section." And this is one of those super Kmart's back in the day so went over to the uh, toy section and found this guy was not looking for this guy didn't hear anything uh, on the radar about this this particular GI Joe but when I saw him I said hey this guy's pretty cool don't have any smoke jumpers in my uh, collection I might as well add this guy to my collection let's get a closer look um, the selling point on this Joe is obvious his workable parachute that actually works from what I'm being told great helmet um, excellent head sculpt let's see if we can get in a little closer let's see what's on his uh, Wildfire and the smoke jumpers uh, rescue team's responsibility was uh, to basically to go in when there's brush fires and things of that nature in heavily wooded areas. He he was going to jump in, go in. God bless him. Uh, very heroic. He was going to go in and try to save as many people and bring aid to, to as many people as possible. And that's that was uh, that was the core of his his duties. Um, but uh, heroic, definitely. Um, I mean, it's it's not too many people trying to essentially descend into a blast furnace, and that's pretty much what his job was to do. As you can see, he's got a lot of equipment. He's got his uh, his parachute equipment bag there, his harnesses. Um, they got him already in jump formation. Uh, really cool figure. Let's get in and see if we can see his. Can't see his shoes that well. He got boots on, black boots on. Um, this is the price I paid for him, guys. $19.99 back in 2002. So, that was the price. Just cost me a 20 that's all <laughs> and I walked out out of the Kmart with my groceries and some uh, some GI Joe's they're really cool though let's turn this guy around here's a excellent picture of him it's a cool poster just a cool poster. I wish he came with that poster. Let's turn him all the way around. And there's the smoke jumper. And you can see the brush fire underneath him. Look at that. And this that's what he's he's about to land in. And you just got to give these guys all the credit in the world. Here's a backstory on a smoke jumper. Smoke jumpers, yep. Yeah. They're an elite corps of experienced firefighters. And these guys travel around the country during wildfire season. Wow, just I mean what more can you say? These these guys are elite. They're at the top of their uh their game and they have to be to do what they do um, this artwork 
and the back panel is just phenomenal. That's just, that's phenomenal. Let's turn it back around to the side here. Here's his equipment list. Doesn't come with a lot of equipment. Doesn't really need to. The parachute pretty much is all you need for this guy. I mean, the hours and hours and hours of playability time with this guy uh, by standing on top of your house, your roof or whatever and, and tossing this guy off or going to a building and tossing him off the building, you can't lose. You cannot lose. I mean, uh, that, that to me, I always thought that was just a super cool um, accessory is the parachute. A G.I. Joe that actually can parachute? Oh my goodness. Get you another close up of this guy. It's really cool. Let me see if I can go in a little closer. A lot of the G.I. Joe collectors would love to see this guy up close. They're looking if anybody's looking for this guy. Uh on the secondary market, I could only can assume he's out there I haven't really seen him too much this guy was completely he wasn't under the radar this guy was off the radar I I didn't hear hear or know anything and I've been collecting GI Joe's for, for decades and I haven't I just haven't heard anything from, about this guy and that's what Hasbro would do from time to time and once again I, I talked to you guys about uh, you know regional sales I mean and, and distribution and how certain regions of the country will get certain things and I mean that's just I know every collector that I've spoken to don't have this guy well one guy has one guy one guy recently got him uh, he wasn't met in box though he was loose and then that's that's the way he wanted him because he wanted to use his uh his parachute so he got him loose and I think he spent like I think uh, 30 or 40 dollars on him uh, and that was loose so um, but yeah you find this guy hey great and if you can get him for a great price that's even better leave uh, some comments in a, a comment section in the box underneath the video uh, if, if you got this guy and how much you paid for him and where you found him at I, I would love to hear all there is to know about this guy because this is one guy that completely got underneath my radar uh, and uh, and that's saying a lot because I you know I don't I don't miss much but um, this is another guy that's an excellent conversation piece when I have uh, you know friends over or collectors we uh, we constantly talk about this guy this is the one guy that they want to see and talk about and uh, so, hey it's crazy but um once again just uh, just excited this uh, uh, about not knowing a lot about this guy because it, it, it's refreshing to just to be able to say you know what I don't know everything and this is one guy that baffles me um, so I didn't like I said just anybody has any background history on, on, on the smoke jumper by all means please share it with me uh, I would I would love to hear about it I would love to know about it and read about it so um, let's go in one more time search and rescue team smoke jumper 2002 guys I appreciate the love and support Please like and subscribe if you find this content helpful or just entertaining. We aim to please. And as always, God bless and keep collecting.